Okay, so Graham's here, and um, she, uh, she dropped me off some things. She dropped me off a whole thing of rum anyway. Um, I think she just doesn't want to come back later. I got a Clipper magazine in the mail, which is exciting, because look, coupons for fattening food also. I wonder what's in here. Something good, I'm sure. And then today, I, um, well, K2, I mailed you one thing um, in that orange envelope. And that was uh, things I had read a little bit here and there. It was a hodgepodge, if you will, a jambalaya of information. I am not caught up reading the George Washington Spymaster book to what I've already cut out and set aside. I'd like to get caught up on that. I'd like to um, read some more of uh, The Vampire Lestat. I'd like to read some more of The Blood Bay Horse of the Black Stallion. I'd like to finish this episode of Smallville so that I could finish the two episodes like I said yesterday. Um, but the Mount Vernon book, I fully used the cover and the first couple pages, how I cut it out and, and stuff. So I don't know what other people do with their books when they get them, but I like utilize them. <laughs> I don't just read the words. I mean, I, I fully use them. Um, and at one point in my life, I thought I wanted to have this big library to hand down to my generations of children who all left me and told me they didn't give a shit about any of that stuff. Um, so just to get rid of it. <laughs> I thought, well, this is what's gonna happen, right? You know, I'm gonna pass away someday. I'm, all my shit's gonna go into a dumpster and I might as well use it now rather than what? Save it for some nice occasion, like fine china, right? Um, and that's a joke too, right? I read all the divorce ebooks before I got married, right? After, no, before I had my quarter life crisis, so I knew what to do. I read a bunch of divorce ebooks and, you know, common mistakes all women make and stuff like that, like saving fine china for a, a special occasion when every day should be a special occasion. So I feel like I fully used that Mount Vernon book up to a certain point and, um, I just learned out Lex Luthor had a brother, and his brother's name was Julian. Boom, boom, boom. And so I have to digest stuff in, in little pieces, too. Um, but today I'm going to try to ca get caught up on some of that stuff. And then remember that book, um, Al Capone Does My Shirts, or something like that? I still haven't read that, even though I posted it all. And because it's me, I cut off the page numbers on a lot of them, and then just threw them all in a big bin. So I at least want to try to start sorting that stuff out. I did get kicked off Facebook. I found the time to do that today. And the last few videos I posted then, I took a picture of my YouTube and I watched those. So it looks like three red lines. Right. So then they should match up like a corner or a keystone if you will or however you do like to do your little rubik's cubes that's how i do mine and i over explain everything why because um someday years and in the future when they want to um build a, a national landmark monument to the great kendar the, the tyrant pope i just would like you know people to do lots of different school papers and um books on me and I want them all to have lots of different information because I really feel like children could just go to school all day and learn about me and that would probably be the best thing um, for the world so I'd like to um, over explain that stuff because um, I have so many subscribers to my YouTube no because this stuff is for me when I'm when I'm like 70 or 80 and I'm looking back and figuring out stuff right these are my personal notes for what research I'm doing. <laughs>